This episode is sponsored by the Eastern Dance Sport Series. We are back at the Champagne Bar, at the ball at the SF Open, and we are going to continue our analysis of the Pro Latin that happened here last night. New York provided our winners tonight, but I think uh, this young couple may have had just a little bit to do with your homeland at, at one point. So winning the comp and winning every dance, we had Trolls and Ina. Did you agree with this result? Yes, I got it right there. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> yes, in this field tonight, of course, Trolls and Ina are absolutely outstanding. So uh, it's difficult to get that one wrong. So I have, a, I have a question to ask you. I saw this couple dance in New York mm, two or three times. And I really was not that fond of them because they looked as if they were walking around the floor. They moved to New York, and after about six or seven months, I couldn't believe how different they were. The, especially Trolls. He was... He was really grooving. So, did you see anything? Do you, do you think their performance has changed since they moved to the States? Or can you not see anything? I think it has changed whether it has got to do with them moving to the state. They've been in the States for quite a while actually. Um, whether it's got to do with moving to the States, yes, maybe. But the thing with Trolls and Ina is that they are always searching, searching for the truth, if you like, in Latin. And they are, all, they are never, never afraid of digging very, very deep to try to get to the understanding of things. And, never, and they are never afraid if, it go, if it's going to take them some time or if it's going to take them through periods where maybe they are not dancing so well because they are trying to get to the next level or get to the next layer of Latin American dancing. They, they work very thoroughly uh, and not short term, always long term. On that, I don't think I can say anything else. They're a credit to New York. They're obviously a bit of credit to Denmark. I am so glad that they're representing the States now. Um, great people. Um, we give them some video a couple of weeks ago. They give us a, sh a shout out on Facebook for providing the video. So guys, that, that really meant a lot to us up at uh, Super Shag and Dance Beat. So, great people. So Lena. Even though I have known you for a hell of a long time, I actually do think it's the first time I've had a conversation with you. I think so too, I think so too actually. Not on the boat either? No, well, you, you couldn't walk. You were, you were legless. Oh, right. <laughs> now I know you're lying. <laughs> uh, actually, I was legless, but it, it worked well, on, you know, in the middle of the North Sea. So I just want to thank you so much for taking the time to come and talk to Dance Beat and give your opinion on this great event. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. It's my pleasure, Chris. Thank you. And I hope that we don't take another 30 years to, uh, to do this again. I certainly hope also to be more in the States. I really enjoy it here. It's very nice. That is great to hear. And guys, you know that if you want to find out anything that's going on in our little dance world, please log on to www.dancebeat.com. Lena? Cheers. Cheers. This episode is sponsored by the Eastern Dance Sport Series.